So now you see how I light my forge. Hi guys, I'm Adam, and this is What the Forge. It's great to see you here again today. Uh, it's currently 4 something in the afternoon. It's finally cool enough to come out to the shop. The feels like temperature was in the triple digits today. Uh, it's finally cooled down enough to get to where I can actually forge, and as there's been some interest shown in this project on uh, Yemez's stream, and since I need it anyway, today I'm going to try to muddle through a draw knife. I have no idea how to do it. I have the completely wrong stock to do it. I have some quarter by one and three quarter uh, 5160 blade steel that I got off eBay. Let's hope to God it's actually blade steel and hardenable because otherwise this is just an exercise in futility. Um, but that's going to heat up with the forge so that, you know, I can heat it up nice and slow because from what Roy says, 5160 likes to be heated slow. And then we'll see what we can do. It's not very long, but it's way wider than I need it to be. So I'm going to try and draw it down to about half of what it is. I'm just making a small little draw knife, just enough to make handles with. And we'll go from there. All right, next time you see me, we'll be pulling it out of the fire. Now, I might be doing this in what seems like a bit of an odd way to some of you folks, but it's based entirely on the restrictions of my forge. My forge, the one I'm currently using, does not have a pass-through door in the back, so I can't send the reins of this thing out the back. I need a new handle ham uh, hammer handle for this. So I have to take and leave this part here thick until I get almost all the rest of it drawn down. Then I can flip it around and draw this out. Once I draw out, draw this down to where I want it which is about half of its original width, which will thicken up the cross section. Then I'll draw out the rein on this side. Then I can flip it over so I can hold it with a different set of tongs, because these tongs obviously will not fit it. By the way, these are the crappiest tongs I have ever made, but they work for the moment. The rivet came out like crap. They don't look good. The freaking rain here is like an eighth of an inch thick at the end. But for the moment, they work, and hopefully they'll work long enough for me to finish this draw knife. That's really all I need it for. So, all right, this is cold. It's going to go back in the fire now. Check those edges, make sure that they're not getting too thick, too fast, because otherwise you'll end up with a rollover. And that's the last damn thing you want. Then you get a cold shut that you can't get out, and it's a weak point in your steel. Back in the forge. And we're definitely getting there. High carbon definitely moves differently than uh, mild steel. That's that's 
obvious at the get-go. But it moves. Just, I'll tell you what, don't be afraid to take more heats than you think you need, because I'll tell you what, this stuff moves way better at high temperatures. See what I mean by it works easier at higher temperatures? See how that's jumping off the anvil? It's too cold. That's when you take it back to the fire. there's a screw in the head of my hammer now. Get that out of frame so the light will come in. I was trying to hold on to the handle until payday when I can buy another one. Because it keeps trying to slide right off the handle. And that's not good. So I jammed a screw in there hoping I could hold on to it until payday. I mean, unless I get this thing done, then, you know, I can make my own handle, but... <coughs> Draw this out to more of a taper.
Yeah, no, there's no forge made at this temperature. But if you look, you can see it's a lot thicker in the tang area than it is anywhere else. So I'm going to draw that down a little flatter and hopefully get a bit more length. But this will be the last drawing cycle for this tang. It looks okay. I think I can bend it as far as I need to bend it for it to work, and we'll go from there. But that'll be the next heat. Now, I can always flip it back around later and do that. I got hammer marks all over it in this last pass, but whatever. Alright, I think that's good enough for this side of it. Now I can turn it around, grip it in my wolf jaw tongs, and do the rest of it. Draw it down to the size I want, and then draw out that other tang. No, I got to do the blade of it first, bevel the blade of it first before I draw out that other tang, otherwise the tang won't fit in the freaking forge. So, all right, so that's what we'll do. We'll take and draw it all down to the size we want it for the blade. I'll set down the area for the other tang, and then I will uh, make the bevel on the blade. a set of, uh, when making anything really, that it slips out of your tongs at least once, because, you know, that's how the real smiths do it. Keep that one in mind, that's a pro tip.
not quite there yet. It's a little thinner over here than it is over here. So we'll keep on going. Time to stick it back in the forge. Let me try a different set of tongs this time. As you can see, that is roughly square all the way down. Really got some eye spots on those edges. I really ought to clean those up. All right, that'll be next heat, cleaning up those edges. up to do and then I can set down that rain and then start forging my bevels on the blade.
Alright, and then we'll bring you back when I get the other tang drawn out. Well, you know what, and... I don't know, I'm just, for some reason, my brain is just not in this today. I will continue this video, or this draw knife, in the next video. I don't know whether that will be today or tomorrow, but it will get done within the next couple of days, hopefully. But I'm working on it, and my brain is just like, yeah, no, you can't forge right now. It's, it's part of the whole mental issues thing. But I'd like to apologize for those of you that thought you were going to see a finished draw knife today. Um, there will be a finished draw knife within the next couple of days. But right now my brain is just not having it. I got to sit all over my face. But I appreciate you guys watching. If you liked it, hit the like button, uh, share, comment, any advice. Uh, remember, the order of operations on this particular draw knife is not what you would normally do. Uh, normally you would do the, both the tangs and then the bevel, but because my forge does not have a pass-through and it is a very small forge, I have to do the bevel first and then draw out the reins, otherwise I will not be able to heat the blade portion to do the bevel. But, yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Like, comment, subscribe, ring that bell, share it to all your friends. I greatly appreciate it. Have a great night.